what's up youtube welcome back to my channel so today i'm actually bringing you a very special video i'm gonna be unboxing swatching reviewing first impressions everything whatever you want to call it um on the let's do makeup palette they did collab with live glam i will be linking the product down below that way you guys can check it out let me tell you like how long i was in line to get this freaking palette like first of all like i had completely forgotten that it was gonna go on sale that day and then i saw on instagram that the palette was gonna go live and i was like wait what is it today so yeah i went online it was like around 12 no it was like 11 in my area so you know i was like there like around 10 30 i was like waiting and waiting and waiting and then 11 hit and then i found out that we still had to wait so i ended up waiting like another hour in line um but luckily i did get my hands on this palette and that's what i'm going to be showing you guys today i am going to be showing you the palette i haven't opened it yet like i got it yesterday in the mail and i was so tempted to like open it but i did like want to show you guys my genuine first impression and unboxing um as you can see like my makeup is done my face makeup is done the only thing missing is my eyeshadow my eyelashes and things like that you know so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be applying this on my eyes today and see how it works out so yeah let me start by unboxing it so yeah i was gonna say also you know i don't really tend to buy makeup palettes unless i'm really really into them especially if it's from like beauty influencers um i don't know it's not that i'm against it or anything but it kind of hit me different with les just because you know i kind of relate to her more she is from texas that's where i'm from too and she's like super 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 humble um i do relate to her a lot like she's a latina i'm a latina i don't know like she just has her life together she's a really super kind-hearted person so that's why i kind of wanted to support i did it more to support her so anyways let's go ahead and get started on this unboxing so this is a package i actually thought this was like the pr package let me go ahead and open it <laughs> i'm like ripping off the little tape right here moment of truth oh my god i'm so excited okay okay this is cute this is cute oh it has this like little foamy thing oh my god i can't believe i have it it's so cute so this is just like the less do makeup uh live glam shadow me um thing it ha it does have her picture on it this is so cute um i don't know i think i'm gonna keep it i usually throw things like this out but like i said i do like genuinely love her and support her so i think i will be keeping this okay so next here's a little palette um it looks cute i like it i'm taking the whole vibe so let's go ahead and take it out of its box okay so oh yeah i was like why does it feel like like cardboard but yeah, she did mention that it does have the sleeve. So this is a little sleeve. That's what it looks like front and back. Um, now this is the actual palette. So it's just says like, let's do makeup. Um, no, nothing too big. You know, it does have like the little hollow specks that she said that it had. I don't know if you can see clearly, but yeah, it, it, like in person, you can see that. right off the bat what do you mean is like a little bit more vibrant in person than what you would see in the pictures in the pictures i don't know i thought it was a little too light but now that i'm seeing it in person like it's perfect i really really love it okay so these are all the colors it does have 10 colors i think it's like a really a really good palette you know it does have like that pop of color but it's very neutral overall it does have like a black in case you want to do a smoky eye and it has like your basic pink and gold shimmers and also this white one right here I guess let's go ahead and start with the swatching okay so starting off we're gonna be swatching angel baby and it's really like smooth that's what i noticed it's really smooth so that's what it looks like on the finger um let me go ahead and swatch it right here I did only like apply it lightly, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then let's go in with the shade Rongo. That's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like on the skin. Now let's go in with Christina and this is the, oh, this is really pigmented. And it's like a, she did say that she wanted like a true, true gold and it's like definitely a true, true gold. And it applies like super nicely like as you can see it did transfer on there 
Now with the famous, what do you mean shade? Let's go ahead and swatch that too. This one is like really creamy. Like it's like a little bit more buttery than the other ones. So that's what it looks like on the finger. And swatched. Now let's do the shade Jorge. I didn't go in like that much, but yeah, that's the shade of Jorge. And then this is the shade uh Hello. Oh, the shade uh Hello transferred like really, really nicely as well. I think this would be like an awesome highlighter as well. So I am going to be trying that too. Now we're going to be going in with the shade 915. And that's how it applied on there. Now the shade Girls Night. There you go. Oh, this is a very cute shimmery pink. Very, very cute. Now let's do cake. And to finish off, we're going to be doing kangaroo. This one is very buttery too, so yeah, that's what the swatches look like. As you can see, they are pigmented. I do feel them just a tiny, tiny bit powdery. Well, the palette also does come with a mirror, and it does have like a little sticker on here. So I'm just taking that off. Now we're going to go in and play with this on our eyes. Um, well, my eyes. I don't know why I say R all the time. I don't know what specific look I'm going to be going for. I'm going to do the neutral look with the blue. I'm going to be taking this blending brush and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Kangaroo. I'm going to be applying that as my transition slash kind of base color but it's not really going to be the full base i forgot to mention that i did already prime my eyes i applied concealer and i just set it with some setting powder you go in with the shade kangaroo and i'm just going to be applying it right here so it can like be the transition color and it's pretty pigmented on the brush like i tapped into it lightly and it did apply like some eyeshadow on there and i'm just going like a little bit above the crease with this color I'm just trying to blend out the edges just a little bit more now with the same brush i'm going to be going in with the shade 915 because it's a little bit lighter than rongo and i don't want to apply the dark color yet so like i just tapped it like that and let me like if you guys want to see how it looks like when i tap it off like now i'm gonna be going in like a little bit down below like right here just below the shade kangaroo kind of like like the way i imagine it is like if i stab my eye right here and then i just go back and forth with that color that way it can blend nicely with the other one. So I'm just gonna like tap it and then tap the excess off and do the same right here. Like as you can see the colors did transition very nicely. Um, this could easily be like your go-to look for like every day. Just add a little bit of shadow on the bottom too and you'll be set. But for today's look we're not gonna be doing that um i am going to be kind of doing a little bit more darker colors so now i'm going to be adding rongo and i did change my brush i'm using it's kind of like the same like this brush but it's just a little bit smaller so since i am going to be applying a darker color i do want to keep it a little bit more down so that's what we're going to be doing we're just going to like add it like a little bit below that previous shade that we used so yeah, I'm just adding it right there just to make it a little bit darker. So as you can see, like it's already adding like that depth and like darkness that you kind of need. And I am going to be bringing it up just a little just so it can blend with the other color. But I think I have the base pretty much set. I'm going to go back in with the larger blending brush and then just like blend it right here and bring it up a little bit as well. 
think I'm going to be taking a combination of the shade kangaroo. Wait, you know what? I think I need to incorporate cake. Let's add kangaroo and cake. Let's mix those two together um, because I think I'm missing a little bit of color up here. So I'm just like going in lightly. Kind of changed my mind on the look that I wanted to do. So yeah, that's why I'm adding cake as well. I'm just adding it very, very lightly just so like you can see that there's a little bit more red tone to it. And I'm bringing it up lightly as well so, you know, you can actually see the blending. So again, kangaroo and cake and just adding it lightly right there. I think I have that done. I think the kind of look that I want to do, I do want to incorporate the red and the blue so that it can give it kind of like a contrast. So I'm going to be taking this flat brush, but it's kind of like fluffy, so it's not going to actually apply that much pigment as if you were applying it with a flat brush. So I'm going to be going in with the shade Angel Baby and this brush right here, and I'm just going to like tap it lightly like that. Damn. <laughs> like it applied onto the brush very nicely. You can see all that pigment right there. So let's just tap it off a little bit. Oh, and that one didn't really have that much like follow, like barely, barely. And I'm going to be tapping this right here all over my eye, um, wherever like the eyeshadow wasn't applied. So it can give me a base right here. Now I didn't tap it off just because I do want a little more pigment. Um, so yeah, that's why it does look a little darker. Just adding more and more until I get the desired color. I think just one more time and that should be enough. So now I'm going to be going in with that blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges right here so that it doesn't look too harsh. And I need some concealer so let me get some concealer real quick. So the concealer that I'm going to be using, um, I'm actually going to be creating like a line right there in the middle. I don't know how that's going to look but that's where I want to apply the blue and maybe add like a little bit of shimmer on top. But I'm just going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade in the shade Creamy Beige. Okay, I'm going to be going in with this brush. And it's just like like that. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this type of brush. But I'm just going to be grabbing like just a little bit of concealer with that. Like just like that. And I'm going to be doing a line right down the middle. You know what? I'm actually going to do like a triangle. I'm going to be going in with some powder and I'm going to be using that to set that concealer. Um, and I ended up like blending it a little bit right there just because I don't want to bring it all the way up to where it was actually marked. Now we're going to be going in with the shade What Do You Mean? And I'm just using that same brush. Um, I did like wipe it off. Um, but I'm going to be going in with What Do You Mean? And look how pigmented that is. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying it right there where I marked the concealer. I'm bringing it up just a tiny bit. Just layering it onto my eye because I do want it to like pop out so I'm adding like a little bit little by little okay so yeah I think that's no maybe maybe two more layers will be good one more and I think that will be good so let me just do the same thing to the other eye okay so now the blue is done I don't know what other color you know i should go in with i think i'm gonna be doing the shade uh hello i can add it as my inner corner highlight um let me just wipe off the brush i was using okay so now let's go in with this shade uh hello and let's just apply that in the inner corner right here so that's like a very 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 good nice highlight I didn't even have to wet it and it looks like I wet the brush to get that. And I like adding it there. I know technically like maybe you're not supposed to add it there. But 
to me makeup doesn't have any rules and that's the way i like it so that's what we're gonna do one thing that i am noticing since i didn't bring the blue all the way up i feel like it's transferring a little to the top so let me just take like a uh, the blending brush and i'm gonna go back in with cake and kangaroo so that i can fix that real quick because i do not want the blue all the way at the top it's strictly right there because i do have hooded eyes maybe if you have like bigger eyes than i do you can bring it more higher but since i have hooded eyes this just works for me best um damn like look at that highlight girl like let me let me you know what i think i'm gonna add it a little bit right here damn i like barely touched it let me do a little bit right here add a little bit right there too just on the very very high points damn this is a very nice highlight too okay so we're gonna be taking like whatever's left of the highlight on the brush and just applying it right here on the brow bone i can't get over how like nice that highlight is like for your actual skin i really like it and i think i'm gonna be using it like whenever i'm using this palette i think i'm gonna be like reaching for it too as a highlight now we're going to be doing our bottom lashes our bottom lashes we're going to be doing our bottom of the eye and i'm going to be taking just with this one with this brush i'm fine and it's just like a flat kind of smudge brush so first off i'm going to be taking the shade kangaroo and i'm going to be applying that as my base i'm going to leave an opening in the middle so i can add some blue on there going in with the shade cake i'm going to be taking rongo and angel baby back in with this brush and the blue shade just okay so i don't know i think we're pretty much done let me dust off just like any pigment that fell on there so yeah i guess we're done with today's look i'm just going to be applying some mascara oh wait I forgot eyeliner <laughs> let me just apply some eyeliner um i'm gonna do like a very light baby wing i do have an eyeliner tutorial so go ahead and check that out i will be linking that down below okay so i did apply my eyeliner if you see something moving there in the back it's my baby he's trying to sleep i'm gonna be applying some mascara now and i'm gonna make sure my eyelashes are really really curled so the blue faded out just a little bit so what i think i'm gonna do is instead of applying it with a brush i'm gonna be taking my pinky and just you know applying it on with my finger and just applying it right there just to give it that vibrancy again um just because whenever you apply an eyeshadow with your finger it's always gonna look better and more vibrant um because it's not like going to a brush or anything you're just like kind of like swatching it the blue does have just a little bit of fallout um i noticed that when i was applying it with my finger i did have like a little bit fall off right here now we're gonna be going in with the mascara that i'm done with mascara i'm gonna be adding some black eyeliner onto my waterline the top and the bottom one and i think that will be it for this look so let me go ahead and do that hey guys so that pretty much completes this look let me know what you guys think about it i know it's like something not too out of the ordinary but like i said i do want to like start off with something small that you know every beginner can use it's like neutrals you know but it has that pop of color that was it for this review slash first impression slash actual try on <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this video and also let me know what you guys think of the makeup palette i like it you know the blue is like totally different in person like i fell in love with it yeah let me know what you guys think about the palette and about this video i will try to be filming more tutorials using this palette just because i know that everybody is like excited for it right now so yeah i'm gonna try to be doing more looks with it so yeah that was it for this video let me know what you guys think down below i will be linking the palette in the description box as well that way you guys can go check it out let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys oh my god i forgot to apply lipstick let me go ahead and add some i think i'm gonna be doing this ColourPop liquid lipstick and this is in the shade notion i think it goes with like the dark berry type of look now the look is complete.